first, I got to talk about three-body problem. Now, let me be very clear. I had zero intention of watching three-body problem. This did not seem like something that was interesting to me. Um, I know that the Game of Thrones writers were behind it. Um, that was kind of like the big sell behind it. Um, but I, I would be very, I have to be honest, it was not something that was on my radar. Um, it came, a couple people watched it, and they were like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, we don't know. And a friend of mine kept pushing me to see it, and I was just like, ah, whatever, I'll give it a shot, whatever. And then I watched it, and I went through the entire thing. So let me just kind of give you a, a as much of a spoiler-free uh, introduction to this, because um, this is a lot. <laughs> this show is a lot um, in terms of what it covers. But I, I think the simplest way to say it is that the three-body problem is about what happens when scientists send a message out in space, and I'll leave it at that, but it, this show does explore the themes of scientific discoveries, societal issues, and the challenges of facing the unknown, okay? So that, that'd be the best way to kind of summarize this, and if anybody has seen it or anything, please don't spoil it for others, um, but I'm just going to give you all my spoiler-free take on it. So good things in this. Um, my goodness, the characters. I absolutely enjoyed the characters and the acting in this. Um, the characters overall are pretty enjoyable. Um, they definitely had um, me going for a lot uh, in this. You know, this <laughs> y'all might remember a lot of these familiar faces from Game of Thrones specifically. Um, you know, it, listen, we even got uh, my man uh, Wong. You know, Wong is here too. Um, but yeah, they he they were fantastic. The acting was solid. Uh, Y'all remember him from Game of Thrones, I'm sure. Um, you know, the priest, my man did a good job here as well, just as creepy. I have to say this guy, right? I think his name was Wade. Had to be my favorite character in the entire series. Listen, he was my favorite. This actor, he was my favorite in, uh, he was one of my favorites in Game of Thrones too. But when I tell you, he was great in this absolutely great love his character cannot wait to see more so so good um but one of the things that really draw drew me to this um as the series was going on was really the themes right so there are a lot of different themes that happen in this um one of them obviously is science right like there's this whole conversation about uh, what's possible, what's not possible. Um, then you get into the politics of like, how does the science actually affect the politics? And then of course that bleeds into, you're going to have to make some moral decisions, you know, and what moral decisions are right, what's wrong, what's good for the greater good, what's just evil all the right, all the way around. Um, and then of course, you know, my favorite, they get into religion. Um, they get into the different applications of religion. They get into different ways people use religion, maybe for good, maybe for evil. Um, so I really, really enjoy how they go about that. Um, you know, the visuals are fantastic as well. Really, really enjoy them. Um, and I have to say the suspense, my goodness, the suspense that they put into this show is definitely something that's going to get you up there and really get you thinking, you know, because I was getting nervous. Listen, when I saw that, the, the, the clock, the countdown, I was like, yo, if you don't hurry up and take action, hurry up, okay? Um, so the suspense was definitely there. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, and, oh, let me, I wouldn't say that this is bad, but this girl right here got on my nerves. Every time she got on my nerves. Every time. Every time. I mean, there's not one time she got on screen that did not bother me all the way, just, just all the way. Um, I think her name's Augie on the show or whatever. It's just some of her decision-making. I was just like, Hey, 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 shut up, shut up. Like there'll be like some crazy problems that they got to deal with. And she'd be like, but what about, what about, what about, what about shut up? What about that? Ooh, man. She got on my nerves. She got on my nerves who often. Um, but you know, it, it, let's kind of talk about the bad, like probably one thing is the science is pretty thick. I mean, woo wee, when you trying to really explain what's going on in this show, it's, it's thick. 
It's very, very thick. It gets very, very complicated, you know. And listen, I mean, I do think that if you stick around with the show long enough, um, it does kind of work itself out and you do start to get it. Um, but I, I think that it probably could have been watered down just a little bit more um, for people. Um, and I think that's probably the other negative, which is this is, you know, the very first two episodes are pretty slow. Um, they're not going to be um, the easiest things to really get into. Um, so you do have that pacing issue where there's a lot of heavy exposition, a lot of um, uh, background information that you're given about characters that you don't really think matter or that don't really connect. And to kind of take that negative and turn it back into a positive, this is just like in classic Game of Thrones style where a lot of characters in the beginning, you didn't think they were important. And later on, they happen to become the most important. Uh, a lot of the information you thought was just stupid background info. Nah, that actually informs everything else later on. So they do a good job. Again, these are the Game of Thrones writers. They do a good job of like starting you off slow and it might get a little boring, but then later on, they pick up they pick up they pick up um so overall i would say that you know three body problem um was actually pretty entertaining um i would say that this is a true sci-fi lovers type of show um it is heavy on the science um but if you stick with it it does make it feel more accessible as you go along like i said watch maybe up to episode two or so um you know kind of get through that and then make your way through um episode three is where it turns up episode five let's see if you a game of thrones fan episode five the game of thrones writers brought all that red wedding energy i'm not gonna tell you what happens but they brought that energy right back i was sitting there like Like they really episode five. If you're not sold by episode five, you just throw the whole thing away, throw it all away. Um, but I really enjoyed like the sci fi element of it. Um, I really enjoyed where uh the stakes were going and what they were doing. Um, and even when we get to the very end of the show, I'm sitting here like, all right, what y'all finna do now? You know, because the way they raise them stakes, I'm like, yeah. I want to know what y'all going to do. Um, so I think overall for season one of Three Body Problem, um, if I had to give it a rating, I would say that it was an eight out of ten. Um, I did really enjoy it. I didn't think I would. Um, and like I said, it was slow at first, but it got a lot better later on. So eight out of ten is what I would give it. Um, so if you have watched uh, Three Body Problem and you finished it, um, what did you think about it? Um, if you haven't seen it, come on back to this video. Let me know what you thought about it um, in the comments down below. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out the next time I drop a video. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.